hello what's up guys welcome back to our another video if you have an android phone and it lags or hangs while playing heavyweight games or while normal using and you want to fix this problem permanently but you have tried many methods and tricks to fix this problem and this problem does not fix permanently so today in this video i am going to show you how to fix lags hangs and fps dropping problems while gaming or for normal using to fix this problem permanently we have to increase or overclock our device clock speed or frame rate but to change your device clock speed or frame rate per second our device requires root permissions to change them and rooting your device has lots of risks like brick dead or also it may stuck some people don't know how to root their device and also some people don't want to root their device because of risks and some people don't have a pc to root their device so today i will show you how to overclock your device without pc and without root access so just keep watching this video till the end before starting the video make sure to subscribe our channel click on the like button and set the bell icon to do all for more videos and instant notification so let's start the video so guys first of all you have to just open the description of this video after that just scroll down at the second last you will get a link just click on that link to that you will redirect it to this website just click on here download and it will load and your download will be started but i have already downloaded this apk so i will not download once again after downloading this apk you just need a file explorer you can use jrgpper or you can just use file explorer or file manager just open your file explorer then just go to downloads there will get there you will get this apk which you have downloaded just now after that you have to just click on this apk and click on install and just install this apk and this apk has been installed after installing that app you have to just open that app just open it after opening that app you will get like this interface this app may be very dangerous so don't change any other settings just change the settings which i will show just go to tweaks you have the work with just the tweak section don't change any other settings in other section after that just click on multitasking after clicking on multitasking it will just ask keep asking for installing a app you have to just cancel it no need of that app after that they will get o groupings just select it to high then you will get mean free values select it also to high then scroll down you will get jet ram compression just select here 64 mb or your device may heat just check this adjust the kernel behavior with the above settings and also check this one adjust the dalvik vm behavior with the above settings after that there you will get the options of apply selected tweaks just click on that after that just cancel it will ask to reboot your device but your device is not rooted so if you will click on yes reboot so your device will not be rebooted so just after applying all the settings you have to manually reboot your device so for now you have to just click on no keep pimpin after that just go to dalvik vm at the above right corner then you will get vm if size it's for responsiveness 
you will get fast responsiveness while gaming so just select it to medium or your device may heat up too much because of high processor uses then you will get the option of pm hip growth limit also select it to lowest no sorry select it to medium again you will get a vm hip size also select it to medium don't select any of this to high your device will hit like a pen <laughs> after that you will get the option of verification then you will have to select just known and here optimization select all then apply new flex cancel all the new flex have been applied it will ask for a reboot so just keep on no now after that you don't have to change any settings here these are not required then just go to kernel twix at the above right corner there will get a most important setting there will get the option of cpu governance tweak this is the most important tweak in this app just select which i am selecting after that just scroll down there we got io schedulers after that just tick on io speed this will increase your device speed after that scheduler system tweaks just tick also this it will also improve per performance as you can see here after that just scroll down disable vsync just check it then again scroll down re enable vsync don't check it after that you will get the option of apply selected tweaks just click on it and again it will be start applying then it will ask for a reboot then just click on no keep pimping because of more the settings are left out then go to android features these are also most important settings in this app then you get the option of hardware acceleration just turn it on it will keep asking for a installing app just keep canceling it then scroll down you get the option of for gpu rendering you will also get this option in developer options you just have to turn it on then there you will get the option of surface dithering don't turn it on then you will get the option of pure jibble assets just turn it on after that you will get the option of 16 bit transparency just turn it on for more performance after that you will get the option of kernel jni error checking just turn it on in default it will be turned so on so don't turn it off after that scroll down again you will get the option of android logger so just turn it off it will disable all the log android logging in background so just turn it off after that you will get the option of lock launcher in memory just don't enable it in any cost after that just go to telephone section they will got more tweaks of telephones like call ring delay but these are not for performance if you want to use this you can also use this malicious there we will get more tweaks here but you have to just turn on this one to just turn on this one after that scroll down if you have a sd card so just turn it on or don't turn it on after that there will get a option of internal internal sd card io tweaks 
just turn it this on after that you will get an option of battery saving if you are using this app for improving performance in gaming so never turn it on or your device performance will be reduced then you, more tweaks are there camera quality tweaks jpg images tweaks flash tweaks quick power on tweaks just check here quick power on after that just click on apply selected tweak Then it will ask for a for installing an application. Just click on no. Then it will again ask for a reboot now. Just click on no. After that, just come to home screen, reboot your device manually. It may take some time to reboot your device for first time, but don't afraid your device will successfully turn on. Just reboot your device. Let me reboot my device. And my device is successfully rebooted now. So now I will show you my CPU code. In which frequency they are running. So I have just installed CPU Jet to check that. You can also install CPU Jet. Link is given in description to check your CPU performance. Let's open CPU Jet. Now as you can see that my CPU cores are running in very high speed than before. In some devices these four cores are stopped after applying this setting this score four cores also will be start but in some devices only and as you can see my cpu load is showing zero percent means your cpu has no load it will run yes. smooth after that you can see my clock speed and gigahertz so guys till here only for today in this video thanks for watching this video I hope you like this video. Have a nice day. So guys, if you are new to our channel, so don't forget to subscribe for more these type of overclocking lag fixing videos. And don't forget to like the video. Bye guys, meet you in the next video.